tutorial. Um, this time it's a pause menu, and yeah, so it uses the menu system from my last tutorial that I used. So anyway, okay, I already have a pause script, so I'm gonna name mine something else. Um, I'll just name it paused. I don't know. So open that. Then make okay, first thing, yeah, make a boolean name it is paused and set it to false. Just okay. See, I've done all this before. I just just want to make sure I get it right. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, make a string called current menu. Don't set it to anything. And this time we don't want to set it in the start because. Then it'll just be like already there. Like as soon as we start the game, it'll be paused. So um, void. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, on GUI. We want to make. Oh shit. Okay. I want to make our navigate to thing. Hopefully you can see this okay. Okay, um, hold on. Be right back. I guess I had to clear my throat. I didn't want that to be on the video, so yeah. Okay, so set current menu equal to next menu. Okay, then in here, if current menu equals main then menu jeez oh menu main okay sorry my dog be right back again okay sorry about that my cat got his head stuck in a sonic burger wrapper so I had to help him okay where was I? Okay, over here. Current menu. Let's do. I'm only gonna do one menu on here. It's gonna be an options menu. I'm not gonna put any options in it. You guys can do whatever you want. Uh, just name it that. All right. Um, let's just think. Okay, um, okay, this is going to be if we push escape, you can use whatever button you want, like, you don't have to do this. What the, wait, is it the full word, or just, yeah, it's the full word. here I don't feel like typing them again okay you want to go ahead and put this or this will be for your player like whatever your like player's name is or whatever you just put it right here and then you can leave everything else the same so just game object player equals game object dot find and then the name of your player like the actual name in your hierarchy so then I'm gonna copy these What? Okay, sorry, I just confused myself. Alright, then we put this stuff. Um, this is like anything that has to do with movement and like looking around, you want to like disable it. So you just put this, and then inside here you put like the component name. This is the FPS input controller, and enabled is false. And, okay, if you're 
If you just do, if you just disable mouse look like this, then you'll still be able to look up and down. So you have to do this because there's two mouse look scripts, and this will disable them both. So you want to put this right here in there. You can just look at that, pause it, and type that. So okay, else if input dot get key down. Keycode.escape and is paused is true. Then I want to make it false. Whoa. Then you can just copy this stuff and change all the false to trues. Just copy this. Alright, um, here I'm gonna go ahead and test that, and I have an error, but hold on, I actually don't think I can put that on clear, uh, line 18, <coughs> oh jeez, yeah, only one equals, alright, well okay, yeah, We have to put our menu main function or method, whatever you call it, and our uh, menu option or yeah, our options method. Um, I'm just gonna put a uh, label. talking, but there's nothing to say, I guess. What is the get options? So, navigate to... Just a main. Can't even type. Um, paused. Options. Back. Okay. Let's see if that's gonna give us anything. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we can't move, so that's good. Um, I guess I didn't... Yeah... Um, set this... Okay, that works good. Alright. That's basically it. Um, you 
could freeze the time, like in the game, so everything else is frozen. But for multiplayer, if you ever want to like put multiplayer in your game, that'll freeze other players. So you might not want to do that. Um, and you can make it look a lot better by putting GUI styles and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm confusing myself. I'll show you my other one. So, see, this is what it can look like if you want it to. Or not, you don't have to. And, okay, so, yeah. Anyway, that is the tutorial. Anyway, thanks for watching, and bye.